Hello everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dansfish.com and today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, this channel is a fish channel and I pretty much stick to that, but I do keep a couple other animals as well and I've got some uh, cool little video to show you of my hatchling corn snakes. I just fed them for the first time today and so I want to show you what they are and uh, yeah, I think some people will like that. If you hate snakes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this is a fish channel. I won't do this very much, but uh, but I'm excited about them. So let me show you for those who do want to see these little baby corn snakes. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have five of them. Um, I just uncovered them after putting them in with their first frozen thawed pinky about oh an hour ago, and it looks like four of the five ate, which is pretty good for a first feeding. The parents of these, at least the phenotype. The female was a um, striped amelanistic, not amelanistic, I'm sorry, anthristic, so what they call a black albino, and uh, the father was a hypotessera. And so that's all I know of their genetics for sure, but then from seeing these babies, I, I know a couple other things. So here's the first little one. Looks like we just ate for sure, which is great get some good light on there for you um, and this looks to me like a regular corn or, or maybe a hypocorn phenotypically at least um, there's a lot of silver on there but there's some brown too so it's definitely not anthristic this one here let me go right down in that moss they love it this one here I believe is probably um, a hypo. I, I think the browns are very muted on this one. So I think this is going to be a hypo with a normal pattern. So we're just going to kind of gently... I think sliding them into the uh, terrarium is easier on them than grabbing them with my hands and putting them back down. They don't like to be held at this stage. They're just too, uh, just too wound up. But anyway, I think this is going to be a hypo. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm not that. I used to be super familiar with all this, but it's been quite a few years since I've done this. Um, this one, I believe, is going to be a normal tessera. So you see the pattern on the body is quite different. That's a tessera pattern. But normal coloration, I believe. There you go. And this one here, this one looks to me like an anthristic tessera, which is pretty cool. Never had one of those before. So that body pattern is the tessera body, and then it looks anthristic to me. And I could be wrong. In fact, I'm thinking now that that very first one I showed you maybe is anthristic. Um, not a lot of red in it. This one is the Quizzler. I wouldn't have thought it, but I guess the male had stripe in him as well because this came out as a stripe, and I can't tell what color phase this is. Um, I'm guessing, oh, geez, I don't know. It's like a yellow striped snake. Um, I want to say like a striped caramel maybe, but I'd be super surprised if both the father and the mother had caramel in them, but it could happen. With corn snakes, you never know what you're going to get, and that's that's kind of part of the fun, actually. So anyway, there's this little one that hasn't eaten yet. I've got a trick up my sleeve. Basically, I'm going to take that pinky. I'm going to wash it really well with dishwasher, uh, with uh, dish soap, not dishwasher soap, but dish soap, like Dawn soap. Rinse it off really well, and for some reason, I don't know why, that tends to help get the snakes eating them. I think it just washes off any foreign smell or maybe the person packing them uh, up and shipping them with smoking or something and so they have tobacco smell on them. You know, things like that. Snakes are very sensitive to smell, but I found that often helps. So I'm gonna give that a whirl and hopefully that'll help. Okay, here we are. It's about half an hour later. This little striped snakey has eaten, so that's good news. So they all ate, all five ate for the first time. I don't know what it is about washing a mouse with some uh, like Dawn, 
dish soap, but it tends to work. I've had good luck over the years doing that. All right, bye-bye. There's the lump going down the hole right now. Woo! <laughs> anyway, it's good to see these little guys eating. It's never fun when you try to feed a baby snake and it doesn't eat, and then a week goes by and it's still not eating. That can be really frustrating. So happy that they're eating, and uh, instead of staring at a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> seemingly empty terrarium here we're gonna cut the video anyway thanks for checking that out um, if you know what those babies are better than I do please feel free to post it in the comments especially that first one anyway I'll talk to you guys later bye bye